I'm Rantasmo, and American Horror Story needs more gay. Again. The following contains spoilers for seasons 1 through 3 of America Hottest Day. A couple years ago, I submitted a rather astringent review of American Horror Story midway through season 1 that I kind of regret a little bit. In my defense, at the time, I didn't know it was going to be an anthology series. That was part of my issue with it. I didn't understand how the writers could expect to develop these characters over multiple seasons if they kept killing them off at such a breakneck pace. As it turns out, they didn't. But season two of AHS, also known as Asylum, was frankly amazing. It was creative, it was the most cohesive season to date, and most of all, it had sympathetic, well-developed characters who I actually cared about and wanted to survive. Season 3 of American Horror Story just ended, and while I do think that Coven suffered from many of the same problems as Season 1, like inconsistent characterization and a disjointed, poorly paced story, I did still enjoy it a lot more than Season 1. Why is that, you ask? Because witches. Like many other gay people I know, I will watch absolutely anything with witches in it. For example, I think that Charmed is really not a good show, but if I see an episode on TV, I will watch it from start to finish. If they changed Dog with a Blog to Dog with a Blog and also a Witch, I would watch that. And then me and my gay friends would discuss it over brunch. Witches have long served as a symbol of female empowerment, and specifically the empowerment of women who have been extremely oppressed. Oppression in this context translates to being set on fire. Magic tends to be a uniquely female convention in fiction. You don't see nearly as many movies and TV shows about magical men, except for Harry Potter and, like, The Covenant, which incidentally is maybe a bit homoerotic in the way that Kathy Bates's character is maybe a bit racist. Gay men have a history of celebrating women who don't apologize for their own power, like Elphaba and Beyonce. And Coven is also meant to convey the theme of oppression in a more general sense, which is certainly something that LGBT people can identify with. But it deals with that theme in a way that's not totally coherent, and sometimes a tad on the nose. Like, there's this scene in the season finale where Sarah Paulson's character is revealing the existence of witches to the media, and she talks about how being a witch isn't a choice, that they're born this way, and how witches are subjected to ignorance and hate crimes, and the importance of increasing witch visibility, and it's just like, okay, settle down. We get it. And the metaphor somehow rings a bit hollow, because this season was never really about being LGBT. It was explicitly about age, gender, and race, and the struggles unique to being older, being a woman, and or being black. Which are not really the same struggles unique to being gay. We only really had that one character who was gay, and that had nothing to do with him getting melon balled. Season 2 dealt with oppression that was based on both race and sexuality. But it felt very focused, because it was consistent, and it actually showed the oppression happening rather than just informing us that it was happening. We see Sarah Paulson's lesbian character in that series go through hell, in part because of her sexuality, and eventually escape that hell. And it has an impact that we just didn't get from season 3. That's not to say there was nothing to enjoy about Coven. The main thing being witches, obviously. Frances Conroy is, as usual, perfect. Jessica Lange plays a slight variation on the same character she pretty much always plays, and it's delightful. And, uh, oh, what's that? Stevie Nicks plays a witch version of herself and shows up in a couple episodes and sings a song for no reason? Uh, f***ing yes, please. I don't expect this season to win any awards from the modern pagan community, but it was an enjoyably campy mess. And among other things, it gave us my new favorite internet meme. 